the beginning of the fall, uh, where we are, have invited our families with young children, uh, fifth and under, to attend uh, to roughly an every other week uh, thing that we do on Sunday afternoons. As part of that time together, um, the way that we built it has a little work, kind of a work component mixed in with it. So we have given families, especially those with the youngest kids, permission to choose one or the other rather than feeling like they have to come to both worship service in the morning and then the family ministry in the afternoon because that can a lot for families with little kids speaking from my own experience having a three and a six-year-old. Uh, so uh, every two weeks, if we don't have children here, the good chances are uh, they are coming to our family ministry uh, later in the afternoon uh, for, a, for, for worship, study, uh, play, and a dinner. Um, and it's uh, been a very, I'll, I'll tell you from my personal experience, it's been very rewarding uh, community, uh, great conversation uh, with uh, parents and with the kids. They're having a lot of fun. Uh, we actually Re reimagine the entire room. We move all the chairs and everything, um, and the kids are love it. They play. They have a great time. And so, to give you a little insight as to why we might have any children uh, here with us, we may have some online. So, I am going to give a brief summary of what children's message would have been this morning. Um, the uh, I did this children's message two years ago. Pastor Tim and I had a conversation about whether or not it would be a good thing to do it again, uh, and we thought it would. Uh, so what we were going to do is I was going to have the kids go out and try to find people in the congregation who they think looked like saints. And then we were to bring those people up. I don't, if you remember this, uh, you might. But we did this two years ago. I was going to have them bring those people up, and then we were going to ask you questions. The questions we were going to ask you are, what, are your, what is your name? And we were going, ooh and ah, at how saintly your name sounds. Um, then we were going to ask, have you, ever li- have you lived a perfect life without ever messing or committing any sins? The answer is obviously no. We've all failed on that in that regard. Um, so maybe, maybe the people here weren't necessarily saintly then. Uh, the third question we're going to ask is, well, have you ever done something kind or nice or helpful for somebody before? pretty sure that everybody was going to be yes and be like, well, well, maybe you're back in contention to be a saint then. And then our fourth and final question was going to be, do you believe in God Jesus? And the answer would be yes. And at that point we say, well, actually, did you know every single person is both sinner and saint? We believe that we are 100% of both. And today is All Saints Sunday where we celebrate uh, the saints uh, that have gone before us who have died and are now with God. Um, and no longer with us here on earth, but not only do we celebrate them, we also celebrate everybody here and the capacity they have for good in this world. And so I was going to challenge our kids to go out and be a saint this week as much as they could, finding ways to help other people so that they could better love God, love others, which is what we're called to do.